Uh, a further note on this comment of the Ramah, that a person should not opt to learn Torah during davening, shouldn't opt to learn Torah when the tzibur that he's associated himself with is still davening. And even though it may be uh, legitimate from the technical halachic point of view to do so, to learn Torah instead of some parts of the davening which are a little oppressive sometimes, nevertheless you'd avoid it because people will get the wrong idea and everybody who davens is after all an educator. The Mishnah Bura quotes from the Mamar Mordechai the following. He says, Imu bahit palel. If a person has finished davening, he's standing there with his talis and his tefillin or standing in the women's section or she's standing in the women's section. Imu kvarit palel. Ve'ino omei sham ela lano ta kadishim v'akidushot me'otam sheporsim al shmao shechosim al kol atfila. Well, a person knows that, you know, in a shul, well, maybe not in an organized shul, but those of you who have been to Yerushalayim know that there is a different notion of shul sometimes, that, you know, being disorganized seems to be carrying tefillah to its highest level, and that people walk in at odd times and they start davening Shmona Esrei, or they say Kaddish, or they say Kedusha, and if you just stand around and wait for a while, you benefit extra responses. You have to respond to Kedusha again, you have to respond to Kaddish again. It's, you know, really a nice thing about the shuls or if you're at the Kotel. If you're at the Kotel, you know, you finish davening in one quadrant, so you can move to the next and the one after that, the one after that, then you somehow benefit from the fact that everybody is davening, but everybody's in a different place. So the Mama Modach said, if he's already davened, and all he wants to do is get the benefit of being, for example, at the Kotel, then, Oseik Batorah Ve'ino Chosheich. You can study, learn Torah during that time, and you have nothing to worry about. And that's because everybody understands that there are people who are in the room or in that area who are not part of the tzibur that is davening uh, shachrit or davening mincha, etc. So when you're at the Kotel and you see people walking around, if they are, you know, dressed in talit and tefillin or they have sidurim and they're looking at them and they have another safer to learn, our assumption is that they are acting in accordance with the Mama Mordecha. That if they were part of Minyan and davening for the first time, they certainly would not take time off to learn Torah. But since they're simply waiting to take advantage of an extra Kaddish and its response of saying Kedusha with another Tzibur, then surely they would be allowed to learn Torah during the interim, during the interim minutes and the time. So you see that while there is no clash between Talmatur and Tefillah, that if you've done the Tefillah obligation, the fact that you're standing in a Tzibur doesn't necessarily conflict with Talmud Torah. However, if you're in a position where you are the educator and there are people looking at you and wondering what they should be doing, then stopping my davening to learn Torah might be might be problematic. I remember uh, once uh, Rashi Shiva, uh, Rashi Shiva was uh, doing just what the Shulchan Aruch said he shouldn't do, and he was learning Torah during Chazarat Hashatz. So I went over to him, brazenly I suppose, and said, Shulchan Aruch, Mishnebura, learning Torah. He looked at me sheepishly and he says. When I get to heaven, if the only ta'ana that they have against me is that I learn Torah during Chazarat Hashatz, so be it. I will take full responsibility.